Okay, so thank you for coming today. So, so let's get started for today's class. So, up to last week, so, uh, up to the last session, we discussed about you know, the basic data types and variables and constants. Then you guys, you know, the practice use of you know, integer type or character type or floating number type, variable data types. Uh, so, so in this uh, session, so we're going to discuss about some operators. So you already experienced a lot of operators in C, which is about plus, plus sign, minus sign for the subtraction, plus sign for addition. Those are the, you know, the arithmetic operators. Actually, you know, C programming language provides the various operators like uh, the arithmetic operator like plus minus multiply division whatever and the relational operators or logical operators true false true and true is true you already know true and false is false is a binary operation so those are the logical operator then assignment then whatever then you know, the several operators so we gonna discuss you know the one by one Okay, first, easy or first? Easy? Elementary school of school level of the, you know, the operators. Plus, for addition, and minus, for subtraction, or, or minus sign. In order to express you know, the negative numbers, you use this minus sign. And the multiplication, for this you know, star character, and for division, it's a slash. And uh, something a little bit weird is uh, this is the percent side, percent character. Percent character is used for to calculate the reminder of the division. So this is an example, okay? So this is this class is for the, the elementary students. Uh, very good student. Okay, so let's do. A is 16 and B is 5. A minus B is equal to a is 16 and B is 5, and A minus B is 11. Okay? You, you, you don't know? You are the college student, but you don't know the, uh, how to subtract two numbers. Okay, so the, this minus sign in C is the intuitive. It's around your intuitions. You already know. So it's a minus or subtraction. And A plus B is how much? 21, alright, and this one is a little, little bit difficult. A multiply B, if you do this, 19, okay? And, and okay, so these three are very, you know, difficult. But problem is, what's the A divided by B? <coughs> 3.5. But the problem is, okay, so it's like that. Arithmetically, 16 divided 5 is 3.2. However, problem is, this is the integer. 5 is also integer. The operation, the result of integer and operation of the integer integer should be integer. This one should be integer too. So, but the exact result, 3.2 is not integer. This is a kind of floating number. So, C automatically convert this one to integer. How? How? By truncating. Truncating? Eight, or we say blurring. Or in Korean, Olim. You know what's the Olim, Olim, Panolim, right? Okay, so let's say Olim is blurring and Olim is sailing. Blurring means blow, sailing means sail, 
right? And the panolim means rounding. Round, rounding is panolim. But the way to see convert this floating number to integer is what you say in the flooring or truncating. So, so then kid is what's in the 19 divided by 5 in C? It should be it raise flooring. So it, it is 3, 2. So arithmetically, it should be 3.8. Yes, it should be 3.8. However, in C, this one is truncated to the 3. So the answer is 3 in C. Maybe this one is this is. Okay, so A divided by three, uh, B is three. And the next one, next one is reminder of the division. So A percent sign and B is equal to one. Okay, it's easy, it's easy. So this is the use of five basic arithmetic operator in C. So when we say this project or those the, the slash, these are the operator, then the argument of this operator is called operand. So the, this arithmetic operator has two operands. First operand, second operand. A is the first operand, and B is the second operand. Operand, operator, operand. Okay? Got it? Uh, okay, so the, this one actually actually explain about that. So the, let's say if x, y, t, if they are all floating number, the result of the, this uh, arithmetic is also floating number. So when so when x is equal to six point zero divided by seven point zero, they are all floating number. Then x is exactly something like zero point eight or a, 5, 7, something like that. And y is the same and g is the same. They are all the same. They are because they actually re represent sort of the exact number. Uh, however, however, when we use, okay, so, however, when you use the in, integer and operate, operator and integer should be integer. Protein operator and the protein should be protein. However, if you use this operand in a mixed mode, which means integer, operator, and plot, then the result should be plot. Okay, sir? Yeah. Uh, is there any good reason why you wouldn't use some as floating number or something? Uh, is there any uh, spectacular reason why you wouldn't use floating numbers always? Floating numbers? Uh, why you wouldn't use floating numbers always? I would ask. Oh, so that's that's like that because so first reason is uh, so the so your question is why we don't use a floating number instead of integer? No no my question is uh, why did you why would I use integer instead of floating number? Use what? Uh, why would I use integer? By time? No no why would you use an Instead of using floating number? Yeah, because I, I think it's uh, easier to use the floating numbers like every time. Also, oh, easier to use the floating number every time. Yeah, Instead it's, of. Do I get any advantage of using uh, the integer? Also, uh, instead of using integer. So, <laughs> using floating, so all the way floating number is much easier than. Yeah, so there are the, there are the reasons. So the first reason is um, in in computer, 
when you add one plus one in this operation, it's much faster than protein number operation. That's the that's the main reason actually. So it takes more of the CPU. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's right. For example, so the you know the calculate protein number, so the in in order to you know, the implement protein number operation, it's much more complicated than you know, the than digital number. Digital number can be added much faster. So that's the main reason. Okay, so all right, so that's the main reason. Uh, anyway, so here, okay, so when you actually mix the use of the integer and the protein number, then the result is the protein number. Can you see why? It's simply because protein number can represent wider range of numbers. User. So that's why so the machine usually offset you know, the wider range of numbers. So it's like that. So when okay, so so we will discuss about this one you know, more uh, more sophisticated later, but let's really really look at this one. Let's think about you know the X and G is declared as a protein number. And Y is integer number. Then when we say 15, 15 is an integer, and 10.0 is a protein number. So 15 divided by protein, then the result is calculated as a protein number. So x is 1.5. Okay. Uh, however, when when you say you know, the y is okay, so let me let me use so maybe. Let me use the black body, uh, white body, much better. Integer and integer, they are calculated 
this one is represented by I, I, this view is representing force this is the true and the force so the final result is the true uh, it's not true, it's false so the force value is zero so the value of this operation is zero or false however, minus one or zero true, false so it should be true and the true is what? So the value of this one is what? Okay? So so you you gonna understand it. Let's say about you know we have two variable x and y and if x is non-zero, which is true, and y is also non-zero, and true, true and true is true. So what? True and true or true is also one. And uh, not of true is false. So that's why exclamation of x is zero. Okay? Then uh, let's use this this one. Then when x is non-zero, which is true, when x is true and y is false, true and false is false. True or first is true. Okay? It's the same. If both are false, their end and the or both are false. Okay? So, for example, uh, how about this? Large A is not equal to small A. First statement is this statement true or false? So, so this first first statement. Large A is not equal to small A. So this is you know the first statement. This statement is true or false? True. I think it, it's true. I think it's false. Uh Okay, so let me let me do it in Korean. 자, 큰 A가 작은 A가 같지 않다. 이게 true예요, false예요? 같지 않다. 네. <웃음> This should be true because they are not the same. They are not. Uh, they are true, right? The statement itself, large A is not equal to small A. That is the statement. The statement is it true or false? That is true, right? Okay, so let me let me get back. Oops. Oh, okay. You got it. I should be true. How about the second one? Three is less than two. Is it true or false? False, right? So, first one. True and false. The result should be false. Second one. True or false. That should be true. Okay, so then let's do the next one. First statement. Large A is not equal to small A. That is true. And 3 is less than 2. Then what is false? Then not of false B is true. So this one is true and true. And the result, final result is true. Okay? So this is a logical operator. So it's very easy. So it's you know, just the middle school level of the, the uh, mathematics. Right? Any question? Oh. Can you explain me this, uh, in the logical operation, any number zero is true and uh, zero is false? Right. Does it mean the outcome? Outcome. Oh, 
so the but you know, the, when when you say you know the outcome, so the the machine should be assigned at one non-zero. So even though it understands any non-zero as a true. Uh, I mean, does this mean the outcome or does this mean uh, like the So outcome is you know because you know, the computer should assign any non-zero number, that that non-zero number is usually one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so it assigns one. Yeah. But it also recognizes any non-zero as true. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so here we have examples. So the so the let me let me explain uh, the, so the, about these examples. So the, this uh, example program. You need to get the you know, two numbers, uh, A and B. So, so, so using the with the scan and function, you gonna get the you know, two integer number A and B. So at the first statement, after they use if, if is the you know, conditional, it's for conditional branching. So if means if the statement within within this you know the this bracket. The statement within this bracket is true, then it actually executes the state next statement. So which means when you uh, when you put the A and B, if A is less than zero, if this statement is true, then it shows this printf function. If A is not negative, which means you know, that this one is false, then it does move to the next one without printing this message. So it actually you know, depending on the uh, input the value of A, they actually show you know the some of the various uh, outcomes. So for example this one if A is less than or equal to zero and A is less than zero then it shows okay the input the number is a uh, it's sort of wrong, right? So the so printed message is the process. The inputted number is a positive positive one digit number. However, this logically they include zero. So it should say, okay, the inputted one is a non-negative one digit number. So there is some mistake. You got it? Uh, okay, so, the, uh, so we have uh, our, uh, our time. Okay, so the last practice is this one. So, the, so in this way, they, using these you know, conditions, they actually you know, the print out you know, the various you know, the different results. So in your, with your machines, Please practice this uh, examples. Okay. Uh, is there any question up to, up to this point? 자 요거 해보시고요. 네 이거 해보시고 어 한국말 설명이 필요하다. 생각하십니까? 뭐에 대해서 다? 더하기 빼기 다 하잖아. 아, 예. 요거, uh, please download this uh, lecture note on, from the, you know, the blackboard. Then you can see the, you know, what you have to do. Then, meanwhile, you know, let me explain a little bit, quickly explain in the same context in Korea from the first. Okay? You got Okay. Okay. So the here is the vertical bar. Vertical bar. Vertical bar is actually on the backslash or you know the one Korean dollar one bar.
And if you want to find out that this is the vertical bar from your keyboard, it is under backslash sign or backslash key or in the Korean one mark key. Okay? Can you find it? Or, all right. Okay, so it's already in the 9.15, so it's the end of the class. So, the, thank you for today. So, the, uh, if you have more questions, you can always visit me or send an email. And if you want to do so, the, just uh, do a little bit more. But if you are done, you are... It's okay to go. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, it's done.